hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel and if you're new to this channel you're welcome and to all my existing subscribers thank you so kindly for your support so today's tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how to make a tutu skirt which you can use to wear a t-shirt or a leotard for ballet kindly stay tuned For this project, I'll be using this two net, and the lengths I'll be using will be nine inches for the four of them. So, and their width is five yards each. You can use more than four, and you can use more than five yards for yours. So, I'll be using this lacquer fabric measuring for the band measuring in lengths four inches, and in width is the child measurement plus ten inches extra. And I'll be using this elastic band of one inch. So I'll be running my gather stitch with my threaded needle on each of the two. And before starting the gathered effect, I'll be leaving half inch for joining at the end. So I love gathering my fabric manually like this. <laughs> it actually works faster for me it's easier maybe because i'm already used to this method so that's why i always use it in almost all of my tutorials but you can do yours on your machine it's whatever that is comfortable for you you have to do it you can run your gathers on your machine it also works perfectly well why i do avoid that uh, most of the time is when i'm working with a long yardage of fabric like this is five yards so after sewing on your machine the gathered effect you have to start pulling it to your desired um, taste so if you're not careful enough the seam might rip off and then you have to start all over again so to avoid such complications i just do my manually like this so you can um whatever ways that work faster easier for you you can go ahead to do it as long as you get your desired results at the end that's what counts so by the time i get to the other end of the fabric i'm going to be leaving half inch for joining the way i did from beginning so i'll go ahead to cut out our a needle and then i will knot the thread so that it doesn't get loose from there so this is how yours should um, look like as you can see it from the video i did it separately because this is um, a beginner friendly any beginners can actually achieve this tutu look easily so i'll be doing all four of them like this so but you can actually match all of them and gathered at once it is possible but for beginner you might find it um, difficult and complex so you just have to do it single like this if you're a beginner but if you are advanced you can actually gather all four of them together because at the end i'm still going to merge all of them together in one piece I'll go ahead to sew the four of them together and this is what it looks like after sewing as you can see from the video this is the four two match together i'll keep this aside and i'll be working on the band for the waist so for the band i've gone ahead to iron and fold into two the four inches lacra fabric i cut earlier and also i folded the edge the two edge so at the end what i will be having with the fabric on fold will be one and a half because i folded the edge half half inch each making it one inch then folding the lacra into two making it one and a half inch so by the time you place your elastic you will see it fits perfectly because this elastic is one inch elastic 
the elastic will be encased inward. Before putting the band, I will have to cut off the excess at the top of the two to enable the band to relax properly. As you can see the edges are not bulky as it was before it has been reduced so i'll be taking the band to attach to the tip of the tutu and i'll be starting from one edge to the other so this is how you're going to be sewing it you can go ahead to pin it if it's difficult for you so that you can relax properly While pinning, also make sure that the back is also properly aligned. So you're going to sew it all through to the other edge. So this is how it looks like when I'm done sewing it, attaching the band to the tutu. Right now I'm going to be taking the elastic band with the help of a safety pin and I'm going to insert it in the band we just made. When inserting your elastic, for your elastic not to loosen the band, the first part in which you put your elastic, when you get to the end of the elastic, you're going to hold it with a pin. Then this other part, the ending part, where your safety pin is going to come out, you're also going to hold it with a pin. So at the end, this is what it looks like. So next, we'll be merging the two edges together. Before merging the two edges together, make sure you count your two nets and they should correspond with what you have. So for this tutorial, I'll be counting four on each side, making them eight so that you don't have one sticking out at the end. You can also use your safety pin to hold them together. After that, you go ahead to sew it all through and your tutu skirt is ready. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye!